Okay, what's up, guys? So, um, here's like, uh, another uh, episode of Why I Hate School. And, um, this, I say that this teacher, she was more, she was more worse than the last teacher I talked about. And these are like the only two teachers that I really didn't like. But, uh, this teacher, she was definitely worse. And I feel like a lot of people would agree with me because either they just, you know, watch this video and they're just like, oh man, that teacher is messed up. Or they have a teacher exactly like the teacher that I'm going to be talking about. But let me just drink some water real fast. They could be the missing link. That felt good. That felt Jesus good. So, all right. So, anyways, this is my health teacher. And uh, she, you know, there's like a lot of rumors flying around the school that uh, yeah, she uh, she failed all the boys in her classroom because she was a lesbian. Um, what else? There was like, there was a lot of like stuff being said about this teacher. There was like a lot of kids didn't like her too, so... It wouldn't surprise me. I'm like, you know, rumors getting started left and right about this teacher and things. But so anyways, I finally because it was like kids that was older than me always talked about her and stuff. So finally, I come across her. You know, finally, I have her as a teacher. So she seemed cool at first. You know, I remember she uh, she can like, you know, she was saying like uh, you can wear hats in my classroom because that's like one thing that the school tripped about was uh, wearing hats and stuff. So she was like, if you're wearing a Seahawks hat, then it's cool. You can wear your hat and stuff. And I'm telling you, it was like cold outside. So I'm like, I don't care what kind of hat I'm wearing. If it's cold, I draw a Seahawks emblem on my hat and things like just like for her and stuff because I'm like, listen, it's cold. I ain't trying to be over here freezing my um, head off and stuff. So, it, like, you know, so yeah. So, anyways, she was cool, like, first few days. But then once when you really start to get to know her, I'm like, listen, you, like, these kids was right. This teacher was no joke. I can see why people hate her and stuff, you know, and this, they didn't want her as a teacher anymore. <clears throat> but so, anyways, uh, so she goes... There was this kid in the classroom, and uh, every morning he had to drop his brother off at school. So I'm like, I, I just want to just get this across that I'm a little bit sick. So uh, I'm just kind of like taking it easy right now on talking because it kind of hurts my throat and stuff. But so anyway, so this kid, <clears throat> so he drops his kid off at school like every every day. Every day had to drop his kid off at um or not his kid. It was his brother. I should establish that, but uh, so no, he had to uh, so he had to drop his brother off at school, and uh, so he's going every morning drops his brother off. So I'm like, me as a teacher, I will respect that. I don't care. I'm like, you know what? Hey, you only had to go to the office. Like you, you know, it's like you know, you told me what you were doing. Said you dropping your brother off. I believe you. Why did you lie about something like that? So this teacher, she didn't think along those lines. She's just like, oh, he's late for my class? So let's just embarrass him, right? Let's embarrass him. Even my mom thought that that was messed up. You know, she even thought that that was evil. But so no, anyways, so he comes, he comes in. There's one day he came in and she told the kids to clap for him because he was late to um, to the class. And I'm thinking in my head, like, okay, he's just 10 minutes late. It ain't like he's a whole hour late and he missed out. Like, lady, you wasn't even teaching yet. Like, if there is a chance, if there is a day I cuss out any of my teachers, it would be her. It would be her. Like, it never got to that point where I did cuss out a teacher, but I would have cussed her out. Like, I'm just saying, like, that's, that's how evil, like, a person is, you know? Like, when it gets to the point where it's, like, your students. That wasn't even the first time she had somebody, um, do that. Like, I remember because, no, there was, uh, the kids, the kids that failed the test. We all had to stand outside for, like, a few moments and then, uh, come back in. And pretty much the kids that passed the test, they, uh, clapped for us because we failed. And I'm thinking in my head, like... Lady, you make a kid not even want to come back to your classroom anymore. Like, I don't know what teaching is this, 
but I honestly know, like I, this ain't, this ain't cool at all. Like when, when there is a, when she, when there is like days when she had a sub, I was happy. Like I was so happy. I'm like, I do not gotta like uh, look this teacher in her face. Like I'm, I'm happy right now. Like this is, this is a moment. Like let me embrace this moment and stuff. Like when she came back from, uh, you know, from her like sick days, whatever she wanted to call them and stuff, I should have clapped for her. But I'm like, oh, you know, well you doing it to other people, so I'm just gonna do it for you. You see how it feels you don't like it don't you so anyways but it just made me mad like i don't care if she does it to me but it was like the fact that she did to this guy because he's dropping his little brother off at school and things like we ended up coming um like best friends after that because i looked over at him i'm like i'm not clapping like i was like uh uh no i'm like i'm not clapping because you gotta do like a response that's a responsibility like you're over here helping out your family and stuff it's like i like you know like, I apologize to this teacher for her not caring about family and stuff, but, um, it's like, it's, that's just what he has to do. It's like, he has no control over it. He wants to get his little brother to school. So it's like, really now, like, you gonna get mad at him for that? And I'm like, that is just, I, I found that so retarded and stuff. I'm like, is she, I, like, the thing is, I, if she's still working at that school, I'm telling you right now, a kid done punched her in the face by now. I'm just saying, a kid has had to punch her in the face by now. If not, it's either going to get to that day or she's just going to probably retire, alright? It's either going to be a kid punching her in the face or she's just going to retire. One of the two. A kid is going to hit her with something. Fist, foot, head, butt. I, I hope a headbutt. A headbutt we don't. How many times do you hear about a teacher getting headbutt by his students? You hear about a teacher getting a chair thrown at him and all this other stuff, but never a headbutt. So I hope like that there's like some kid that just heads but the crap out of her, you know? Just everything that's inside of her just headbutts it all out of her and stuff. But so, um, that teacher, she was another reason why I hated school. I remember when she was, uh, she said I was going to, I wasn't going to graduate because I didn't know how to use a blood pressure cuff. Are you serious, lady? A blood pressure cuff? You have to be kidding. You have to be kidding. You mean it to, I'm, so I'm not going to graduate. I'm not going to get my diploma because I don't know how to use a blood pressure cuff. That's, I'm like, that's. That's a smart thing to tell a student. Like, I'm like, did you think of that all by? I'm like, lady, give me a test. Okay, because that's what I told her. I'm like, give me a test and then just let me do that. I'm like, I'm because I'm thinking in my head, I'm pretty sure the majority of this school doesn't even know how to use a blood pressure cuff. I'm pretty sure the teachers don't even know how to use a blood pressure cuff. And you're going to give me that crap. Lady, give me some tests and let me go on about my day. She gave me the test. I passed them. I got my diploma. I should have went back up to her face. I'm like, and I still don't know how to use a blood pressure cuff. And I got my diploma. Now what? Okay, like, really, lady, you really going to tell somebody that? She told me that, and I'm like, this teacher is retarded. Like, I'm like, something is wrong with you, lady. I'm like, you should just, just like, don't, don't be no teacher. Like, whatever you were doing before, keep doing that. But don't be no teacher and stuff. But so, uh, anyways, that teacher, she would be a reason uh, why I hate school. I remember when uh, there was another time, I'm probably going to end the video after this, but one of my friends was waiting for me after, uh, after a school. You know, he was going to give me a ride home and stuff. So anyways, I'm, um, so I'm all like, I'm getting ready to go to her class because I forgot I had to go to her class and take a test. So I'm like getting ready to text him and let him know like, oh, you know, like, just drive off, just go on and stuff. I'm just going to go and walk home and things because uh, it's like I got to do some tests and stuff. She wouldn't even allow me to do that. I'm like, lady, what do you think I'm going to do? You think I'm like some robot and I can just copy down answers from the phone and stuff? Like, lady, I'm texting my friend so I could tell him to go home so he doesn't have to wait for me. He And I remember he told me he waited in the parking lot for like 30 minutes. I'm like, you didn't even have to do all of that. It was because of this retarded teacher wouldn't allow me to text you so you could have left. You could have left 30 minutes. I'm like, nah, this teacher, I'm so glad I graduated so I would have not ever had to see. So that would be one teacher if I did see her in public i would look the other way i like and then there's this there's this lady at the bus stop when i go to work in the morning she kind of looks like that teacher and she'd be looking at me some days i'm like listen if you're that teacher i ain't got nothing to say to you i'm sorry but i have nothing to say to you all right 
But so anyways, I know you guys were like, dang, that's a little bit messed up. I'm like, "Uh uh-uh, no, she's messed up. You got kids clapping for kids because they're dropping off their little brother, then clapping for them because they failed the test, then tell a kid that he ain't going to graduate because he doesn't know how to use a blood pressure cuff. Three strikes, you're out. That was three strikes right there. You're out, all right? That's that's all I got to say about that and things. But anyways, um, yeah, that she would be another reason why I would hate school and stuff. So, and that being said, um, I'm going to end the video because my throat is all messed up right now, like, making this video. The, the, the struggles of being sick and a YouTuber, it's like when you're just being yourself, it messes you up and stuff. So... Anyways, um, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you're new, please like and subscribe and peace.